Normally, electrons occupy the ground state, which is to say the lowest possible energy levels they can occupy. How do you tell whether an atom is in the ground state or not? The ground state configuration is the configuration that's given to you on the periodic table. If your configuration matches the periodic table, then you know your atom is in the ground state. But if it doesn't match the configuration, then the atom is in the excited state. Let me show you what I mean. In this element, we have 2 plus 8 is 10, plus 16 is 26, plus 2 is 28 electrons. So what we need to do is go to the periodic table and look up element 28. If the configuration matches, the element's in the ground state. If it doesn't match, then it's in the excited state. Element 28 is nickel. 2, 8, 16, 2 is its ground state configuration. 2, 8, 16, 2 is the configuration we were given. Since they match, this element is in the ground state. Next, we have 2 plus 7 plus 1 adds up to 10. So we need to look up element 10 and see if it matches that configuration. Element 10 is neon. Its ground state configuration is 2-8. This does not match the configuration we are given. Therefore, this represents the excited state for that element. 2 plus 8 plus 8 plus 1 is 10, 18, 19. So we need to look up element 19 on the periodic table. Element 19 is potassium. Its ground state configuration is 2-8-8-1. This matches the configuration we were given. Therefore, this represents the ground state configuration of potassium. 2 plus 8 plus 14 plus 7. That's 10, 24, 31. Let's look up element 31. Element 31 is gallium. 2, 8, 18, 3 is its ground state configuration. This does not match 2, 8, 14, 7. Therefore, this is the excited state configuration for that element. When you're dealing with expanded configurations, there's a few things you have to take into account. First of all, do the sublevels fill up in the proper order? In other words, does 1s fill up before 2s, which fills up before 2p, which fills up before 3s? Let's take a look at how this breaks down. First of all, this is 2 dash, 2 plus 6 is 8 dash, 1. 2 plus 8 plus 1 is 11. Let's look up element 11's electron configuration. Element 11 is sodium. Its configuration is 2, 8, 1, the same as the configuration we worked out. As long as the sublevels fill up in their proper order, it's the ground state. 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s. They fill up in proper order, that's in the ground state. Next, 1s2, 2s2, 3s1. This is 2, dash, 2, dash, 1. Two electrons in the first energy level, two electrons in the second energy level, one electron in the third energy level. 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. Element 5 is boron. Its configuration is 2 dash 3. 2, 2, 1 does not match that. That means this is in the excited state. Why is it in the excited state? Because first comes 1s, then 2s, and then 2p. We've completely skipped over 2p and went right to 3s. Our final example, two electrons in the first energy level, two plus six is eight electrons in the second energy level, two plus six is eight electrons in the third energy level, 4s1 is one electron in the fourth energy level. That is 10, 18, 19. Let's take a look at element 19. Oh wait, we don't even have to. We've already figured that out up here, right? Element 19 is potassium. Its ground state configuration is 2, 8, 8, 1. So as long as the sublevels fill up in order, it's the ground state. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. That fills up in proper order, 4s1. Beautiful. Ground state. So if it matches the periodic table, it's the ground state. If it doesn't match the periodic table, that means some electrons have been boosted to higher energy levels, and it's in the excited state.